Hello everybody and welcome to a not a vlog. This not a vlog is about inclinement, which is something that I created about being more motivated and more ready to do shit in life, being more inclined to do something, being more efficient, being less lazy, and being more healthy uh, in the way that you do work and the way that you get out of a rut of laziness. It has a physical side and a mental side. The physical side has two parts. One is posture. We all have shit posture. I hope that that's a fair claim to make. I had really shit posture. I still do have pretty shit posture, but I catch myself every now and then. And when you catch yourself on posture and you spend the next 20 minutes upright and fully stood up and fully sat up and everything, it's kind of like going from an oxygen low environment to an oxygen rich environment. Your brain starts working a bit faster and you start being a bit more aware of things. When you see, cause this works for me, but I'm sure it can work for other people. One of the problems with being in a rut is that you don't have anything that shifts you out of the rut. Everything you approach, you approach melancholically and sluggishly, and you don't really get knocked out of your rut. You need to knock yourself out of the rut. And there are so many opportunities through the day to give yourself a mental reset. A few random ideas. When you're walking out from a building into the outside, into the cold outside currently, or hot outside currently, you're going to get a rush of air when you open up the door. Whenever you feel that, just take a deep breath in and widen your eyes a bit. Whenever you have some kind of stimulus, just like, and your brain resets itself. Like, it is a fantastic feeling to, you know, just like see more shit and you get a little tiny adrenaline rush. And that can knock you up onto your feet and get you to go do shit instead of sluggishly walking around eating for another two hours. Another part of this is drugs. <laughs> Caffeine and sugar and those kind of drugs. Adrenaline energy drinking, tea and coffee drugs. Things that you do to get yourself ready to go through the day. They don't always work. They work pretty shittily for most people. And for a lot of people, it they work because they have convinced themselves that they work and they're placeboing themselves into it. So if you're taking some kind of energy drink or coffee or tea and you feel like it's not really helping you, A, it's because energy drinks are pieces of shit in my opinion, um, but B, it's because you also have to put in work Whatever you do, whenever you take something, there's two sides to it. There is your side, and then there's the drug side. The drug can only do so much, but if you're just sitting back and expecting it to do all the work, that's where you're going wrong. So when you're taking coffee or tea or something, here's your energy level based on time. Or here's the adrenaline, whatever, over time. It'll build up after a while, it'll steady, and it'll drop. So... If you need to work right now and you're, if you have to work right now and you, you know, drink and you expect to be like, all right, now I'm ready to work. If you just expect that to happen and you don't actually get pumped, you're not gonna because over the next few minutes, it's going to slowly build up. You'll adapt to it over time and then you won't even feel it. And then the only thing you will feel is the crash. Pretty shit. But what you can do is you can help it along. See, if the moment you take that sip, you do the eye trick again, the widen your eyes, take a deeper breath, stand up straight, and like that whole thing. It gives yourself a mental reset and it allows your brain to unadapt to the energy level. It allows your brain to like set yourself to here so that when that gradually dies down, that's when this gradually comes up and you'll kind of steady out and then the crash won't be as effective and you'll be able to work for the full X amount of time. So, life tip. When you're taking something to increase your energy level, help it along by pretending like your energy level has already increased. Pretending shit like that actually works. Because that's how your brain works. Placebos and nocebos and all this stuff have integral effects on society and, and uh, um, neuroscience. So what's the mental part of inclinement? You know, we have... The physical side, which is just straighten yourself up more often, have better posture, and you will be more efficient in life. Um, use this breathing eye trick to give yourself a mental reset to jostle yourself and realize, oh, I can see everything now instead of just being like, Ng -ng -ng. Um, and then also when you take something to increase your adrenaline level, help it along by believing that it already has affected you. Yeah, just. <laughs>
Looks like I'm doing coke, but you know what I mean. What's the mental side of it? The mental side of it is being more inclined to do things. The definition of mental inclinement is being more inclined. That sounds like a totally not helpful thing. It's like, use the word in the definition, that doesn't work. But it does when it comes to your brain. Your brain is so full of this, all this contradictory stuff that if you believe something, even if you yourself don't actually understand what it is, but you understand what it should be doing, well, that's been helping us do stuff for centuries. <laughs> um, so when I say that being inclined means that you're more ready to do things in life, and you're more ready to take on stuff, and you're ready to handle everything, you're not slouching about mentally, and when I say that undoing the slouching part and being more mentally upright will make you more ready to do things, and if you believe that, it'll work. Even though it seems to make absolutely no sense. I guess the real point of this video is to talk about placeboing yourself, which is part of the reason why ADHD meds never worked for me. I can never tell if they were actually doing something or if I was just placeboing myself. Either way, it just gave me stomach aches. Uh, um, so, I guess the real self-help life, the, I guess the real self, life help, self-help tip thing here is not so much inclinement, but is what inclinement represents. You can make up all sorts of guru bullshit to yourself and believe in it and it'll work. You don't have to even explain it. Just what is one thing you want to do in life? What is one thing that you'd like to improve by yourself? Efficiency, uh, motivation, happiness, any of this stuff. To a certain degree, if you just believe that you are more happy, you will be more happy. Unless you're the kind of person who doesn't really believe in things. Um, you know, whatever you believe in is that. It sounds really stupid, and people with depression, and keep in mind, if you have neuroscience things going on that keep you from being this, just mentally tricking yourself isn't going to work as well. So I'm talking to people who, you know, feel like they're fine in that department. Um, because uh, I don't want you to completely reject medication and think that, you know, self-holisticizing will work 100% of the time. There are plenty of cases where it does, but, you know, do what feels safer for you. Uh, don't take advice from an 18-year-old. Um, well, I mean, do take advice from my other videos, just not medical advice, maybe. Uh, so, yeah, these self-placeboing, self-tricking things work if you are someone who can wholeheartedly believe in something in the front of your brain and know that it's bullshit in the back. And as long as you keep your mental state into a supportive of whatever that is that you want to be more, you will be more! That's really what inclinement represents. And it represents that if you want to do this, you can just make up some bullshit and if you believe in it, it will work. I don't have a fancy word for that. That's just self placeboing or something. So, I guess the title of this video is Inclinement, and maybe I'll make up a word for this self placeboing mental trick that we all have. If you want something, if you believe you can get it, I'm not saying you'll get it, but I'm saying you might be a bit more optimistic. And if you believe in pessimistic things, you will be more pessimistic. So, be more inclined to take hold of what direction your mental state is going and your perspective on life is going. I chose optimism after several years of nihilism, and I feel a little better, even though nothing has really changed. All about self placeboing yourself. So, for all that it's worth, which is as much as you believe in it, be more inclined in life.